welcome back. We are still having fun on Metro That's Farm. Right. And now to talk food. Yes. We it's love the food, best right? of both continental and local dishes on the show today. Yes, and that is coming at the Fiesta of Flavor, which was put together to celebrate the best of Nigerian and continental cuisine. So if it's about food, it's time to go get your mouth watering. It's the third edition of the Fiesta of Flavor, sponsored by First Bank of Nigeria. And then, one of my favorites, the fruit cake, the chocolate chip pound cake, uh, there's no banana bread. Okay, just chocolate chip, but we got some, what? what's this? Onion. Friends, family and food lovers make their way into the Harbour Point event center where this year's edition held. It's an event designed to celebrate the best of Nigerian and international cuisine with food stands showcasing the best of culinary delight, cutting-edge food technology, cooking techniques and the best of beverages, wines and spirits. Practical pizza making session is on under the watchful eyes of a female chef who are eager to learn with participants made up of both the young and old. I'm considered one of the pioneers of the events industry. I started my business almost 16 years ago and all the years I've been doing events for other people, for corporates and for private individuals. But I thought that it was about time that we created our own events, which are events that bear our own uh, you know, flavor and uh, which have something to do with what we do on a daily basis. Food and drink, whether it's corporate or private, we always have to deal with food and drink. And also because um, as an entrepreneur, I find that there's so many people, so many young people in the food and drinks business that are just coming with new ideas and new creativity. And I just thought that uh, it was you know, great for me to have this platform for them to be able to show their skills to the world. A chef here welcomed this initiative, believing that food business is the next money spinner that would take over the oil industry. Well, everyone is into health food, we're, we're living, so this is a way to promote well-being for people because a lot of people have so much issues with their health. So if you can help to add value and uh, a, a goodness to their life, why not? It's grown in leaps and bounds. It also is better in terms of the layout because I think that they've learned over the years how to set up different stalls and whatever. So yes, it's good traffic, it's a good atmosphere. Um, it's something that people have started to become familiar with. So as well, it's, it's easier to sell here because people already get it, what they're trying to do. So. While they enjoy the best of culinary arts, First Bank, the sponsor of the event, reaffirms its commitment to the well-being of Nigerians through its support for the agricultural value chain in Nigeria. 
we totally believe in it and that's the reason why we support across the entire value chain. So we say from farm to table, from production through to processing through to exporting. Um, and I think the great thing for us, from agriculture to a food fair like this, is what we're looking at is combining the production from the agricultural space to the SMEs who actually bring the food to us. We've been supporting this now for the last three years because we truly believe in it. In addition to that, another major fair that we have is the Agri Conference that we hold annually. Um, last year we had the Minister of Agriculture with us um, and the output from that has just been amazing. So that was the first year we, we did that. Uh, we're going to do it again next year. This, however, has been on for three years. I think together we've, with Eventful, we actually pioneered uh, the food festival. And we have a lot of our partners, the SMEs that we've grown with, that we've collaborated with, to bring out what they do. They're all here today. I'm pretty excited at the turnout today. Apart from food, there were other side attractions like games and dancing, all to add more fun to the day. The two-day food and beverage fair provides an avenue for attendees to fully experience the entertainment, art and business of food, while First Bank, as a sponsor, believes the food industry is the new oil, providing jobs and fostering economic growth in the country. Wow, my mouth is already watering already. Uh -huh. I ate so much. I know a lot of people had so much to eat this <laughs> festive season. All right, that does it for us on the show. Thank you very much for watching this New Year's edition of Metrophile. Yes, you do want to watch this and um, previous editions of the show, do check out channelstv.com. Follow mm -hmm. us on Twitter, as our Twitter handles are running right on your screen. And also, you can reach us with the number blinking on your screen. Thank you so much again for watching. I'm Ogich Korsi. And I'm Anne Umawadu. Welcome to 2018.